ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜியர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் இன் அ ஃபியூ டேஸ் வில் பி செலிப்ரேட்டிங் திருக்கார்த்திகை தீபோத்சவம் தி டே ஆஃப்டர் தீபோத்சவம் இஸ் தி கமன்ஸ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் அனத்தியன காலம் சப்சிக்வெண்ட்லி we will also be celebrating adhyayana utsavam for about 20 days in most divideshams there are many questions relating to this anadhyayana kalam and adhyayana utsavam we will try to clarify certain points now in this particular topics we should see what is adhyayanam what is anadhyayanam what is adhyayana utsavam when was it started how was it started how was it conducted previously how is it conducted now and finally what do we do during this anadhyayana kalam what pasurams we recite and what pasurams we don't recite during this time let us see one by one all these topics first adhyayanam adhyayanam means learning practicing and reciting this is generally said in the context of vedam there are certain times when vedam can be learnt practiced and recited and there are other times when one cannot learn vedam recite vedam and practice it also these times one would focus on the ancillary subjects of vedam and learn them and practice them similar to vedam divya prabandham also has adhyayana kalam and anadhyayana kalam the times when we learn and practice and the times when we don't learn and practice divya prabandham this is because divya prabandham is considered at par with vedam now the time we recite we learn we recite vedam is called adhyayana kalam and the time when we don't learn and recite vedam is called anadhyayana kalam and the same thing applies for divya prabandham also we will see what is adhyayana utsavam adhyayana utsavam is the celebration of the ascending of nammalvar to paramapadam that is sri vaikuntham nammalvar is considered as the chief of sri vaishnavas he is greatly celebrated he ascended to paramapadam on margadi month shukla paksha ekadashi which is famously known as vaikuntha ekadashi around this time 10 days before vaikuntha ekadashi and 10 days starting from vaikuntha ekadashi are celebrated as adhyayana utsavam these days there is a history behind it tirumangai alvar who is the last of the alvars was living in sri rangam and was engaged in many kaikaryams in sri rangam once on a kartikai deepam day he recited 
திரு நெடுந்தாண்டகம் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் பிரபந்தம் இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் பெரிய பெருமாள் பெரிய பெருமாள் பிகேம் எக்ஸ்டாட்டிக் ஆன் ஹியரிங் தட் அண்ட் ஹீ ஆஸ்ட் திருமங்கையாழ்வார் வாட் ஹீ நீட்ஸ் திருமங்கையாழ்வார் அட் ஒன்ஸ் சேஸ் ஜூரிங் தி வைகுண்ட ஏகாதசி டைம் நம்மாழ்வார்ஸ் திருவாய் மொழி ஷுட் பி ஹேர்ட் பை எம்பெருமான் ஃபுல்லி அண்ட் ஹீ ஆல்சோ ரிக்வெஸ்ட்ஸ் எம்பெருமான் டு கிராண்ட் ஈக்குவலன்ஸ் டு வேதம் ஃபார் திருவாய் மொழி பெரிய பெருமாள் ஹாப்பிலி ஒப்ளைஜஸ் அண்ட் கிராண்ட்ஸ் தோஸ் டிசையர்ஸ் to be fulfilled he also orders that namalwar being in a deity form in his birthplace alwar tirunagari is brought over from alwar tirunagari to srirangam so that in a grand assembly periya perumal along with his divine consorts and in the presence of namalwar திருவாய் மொழி குட் பி ஹேர்ட் அட் தட் டைம் ஆல் தி நெசசரி பேராஃபெனிலியா அலாங் வித் தி கைங்கரிய பராஸ் சர்வேட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் பெரிய பெருமாள் ஆர் சென்ட் டு ஆழ்வார் திருநகரி அண்ட் தே பர்சனலி பிரிங் namalwar from alwar tirunagari to srirangam and starting that year every year tiruvaimudi is recited as part of the adhyayana utsavam the 10 days starting on vaikuntha ekadashi in srirangam so tirumangai alwar is the one who first constituted this utsavam with the permission of periya perumal himself to glorify namalwar's tiruvaimudi during the time when he ascended to paramapadam after tirumangalwar's times there was a dark period in our sampradayam and the practices were lost nathamuligal from kaattumannar kovil goes to alwar tirunagari meditates upon namalwar and by the grace of namalwar he acquires all the 4000 divya prabandham pasurams and their meanings from namalwar himself he eventually comes to srirangam he reestablishes the adhyayana utsavam as part of the temple reforms he performs there but this time as shri manatha munigal has exposure to 4000 divya prabandhams which were compiled by alvars on emberman he arranges the adhyayana utsavam to be 20 days he still brings namalwar over from alwar tirunagari to srirangam but instead of the original 10 days where only tiruvaimudi was recited back then nadamunigal arranges in a manner that the first 10 days before vaikuntha ekadashi mudalairam and periya tirumuli are recited so the first 10 days are known as pagal patu also as tiruvai tirumudi tirunal tirumudi utsavam starting from vaikuntha ekadashi tiruvai mudi is recited for 10 days these 10 days are known as ra patu and tiruvai mudi 
திருநாள் அது திருவாய்மொழி உற்சவம் ஆஃப்டர் தி கம்ப்ளீஷன் ஆஃப் ராப்பத்து இயர்பா இஸ் ரிசைட்டட் இன் அ சிங்கிள் டே திஸ் கண்டினியூட் ஃப்ரம் தி டைம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்ரீமன் நாதமுனிகள் அப் டு ராமானுஜர்ஸ் டைம்ஸ் During Ramanuja's times, he felt that the times have become worse. There is a lot of troubles and we bring Alvar through forests where there is fear of robbery and other things. So let us not bring Alvar from Alvar Tirnagari anymore. Let us consecrate a beautiful deity for Namalva in Sri Rangam itself. And thus, Embermanar orders Namalva deity to be prepared in Sri Rangam itself. And also in all the other Dividashams. So that Adhyena Utsavam can be celebrated in every Dividesham where the Emperormans in each Dividesham listens to Alvar's Pasurams. So this is how it stopped where Alvar was brought over from Alvar Tenari all the way to Sri Rangam and the Utsavam being celebrated in each Dividesham with Alva's deity in each Dividesham commenced from this time onwards. Subsequent to Ember Manar, Ramanuja's time, Kura Talwan's son, Sri Parashara Bhattar, went to Tirunarayanapuram. He defeated Madhavacharya, who was a scholar in another school of thought, another philosophy, and he turned him to be a beautiful devotee of Bhagavan. And he returned from Tirunaranaburam the day before Adhyena Utsavam was set to commence in Sri Rangam. Periyaparamal summoned Parashara Bhattar to his sanadhi and inquired how he won over Madhavacharya. Parashara Bhattar said he won over Madhavacharya with the help of Thirunadun Dandagam Divya Prabandam. Periya Perumal was eager to hear from Parashara Bhattar the recital of Thirunadun Dandagam. So he ordered Parashara Bhatta to recite Thirunadun Dandagam at once before the commencement of Adhyayana Utsavam. And Parashara Bhatta follows Periyaparamal's orders. And even today, we see in Sri Rangam that Thirunadun Dandagam is first recited before the commencement of the Adhyayana Utsavam. Thus, in this manner, Adhyayana Utsavam has transformed from 10 days to 20 days, more than 20 days in some Dividashams. It has also transformed from being celebrated only in Sri Rangam to celebrated in all the Dividashams. Now, the next question, next, next aspect we have to see is the exact timelines of Anadhyayana column. In the temples, the in the temples, Anadhyayana Kalam commences from the day after Kartikei Deepam. During the Kartikei Deepam, in the night, usually in the temples, 
Perumal will accept oil offering and he will send a message to Alvar inviting him to come and attend the Adyena Utsavam and he would order everyone at that time saying you all think about Divya Prabandham in your heart but do not recite it during this time until I hear it in front of Alvar in the Grand Assembly. So based on this, from that night onwards, that is the night of Kartikei Deepam, which means the next morning, from the next morning, we stop reciting 4000 Divya Prabandham, Nalaya Divya Prabandham, both at temples and at homes. In the temples, from the first day of Adyena Utsavam or the day before as we have seen in Sri Rangam, Divya Prabandham recital will come. Divya Prabandham recital will commence according to the sequence of Divya Prabandham. Divya Prabandham recital will commence in a particular sequence. During the Adhyana Utsavam, in the first 10 days, Mudalayaram and Tariya Tirumari will be recited. And starting with Vaikuntha Yekadashi, Tiruvayamari will be recited. In some divisions, Yerpa will be recited on a single day after the completion of Rapatu Utsamam. In other divisions, Yerpa will be recited along with Tiruvayamuri each day during the Rapat. One other thing in Adhyana Utsavam, while it is celebrated for 20 days or 21 days, in most divisions, in some divisions like Sri Rangam, it is celebrated for 22 days, one day for Tirunadun Dandagam in the beginning. In Alvar Tirunagari, an extra day is spent, an extra day of celebration is present at the end of the Adhyana Utsavam. Usually in all divisions, during the final day of Rapathu, a celebration of Tiruvadi Tholal, that is Namalvar being placed at the divine feet of Emberman will happen. At that time, it indicates that Namalvar has ascended to Paramapadam. A designated person will go and request Emberman to give Namalwar back to us and Permal will accept our request and return Namalwar back to us. But in Alwar Tirnagari, Namalwar would not return immediately, rather he will spend the whole day, next day and the night as well and in the night, in the next night. In front of Permal and Namalwar, Shatakobar Andadi, a work on Namalwar and Tirupavai will be recited along with some commentary and then only Emberman will give Namalwar back to us. So in this manner, in the temples, during the Adhyena Utsavam itself, Divya Prabandham recital commences in a particular order. And once the Utsavam is over, in most divisions, immediately soon after, the next day or so, there will be separate ce celebration to commence Tirupallanda recital indicating Divya Pravantam has commenced in the temple. At homes 
and muds there are different practices in some places devotees will follow the temple routine and commence divya prabandham recital soon after it commenced in the dividesham in the sannidhi many also have the practice of resuming divya prabandham recital on tai hastam day which is the tirunakshatram day of kurataalvan in those days it will take some time for people to return from shri rangam after enjoying adhyayana utsavam there to their respective places so considering that gap the time taken to return to their own place it was kept that tai hastam being a an auspicious day of kurathalwan's appearance day dhrunakshatram day that day is selected as the commencement or res- resumption of divya prabandham recital at home finally the important question for us which is what do we recite during this anadena kalam as we have seen even in the temples from the day after kartikeya deepam until the commencement of adhyayana utsavam 4000 divya prabandham the 4000 divya prabandham pasurams of all verse will not be recited this includes kannanun chirutambu which is a prabandham on nammalvar by madrakavialvar and ramanuja nutrandadi which is a prabandham on ramanuja by tiruvaranga tamudanar these two also are part of nalayar divya prabandham so they are also not recited at homes and at temples during this anadena kalam so in the temples the anadena kalam as we have seen is from the day after kartikeya deepam unto the beginning of adhyayana utsavam and subsequently on the day of tirupal and todakam everything will resume at homes we have seen the same routine until the tirupal and commencement happens in the temple at least we refrain from reciting 4000 divya prabandham pasurams of all verse including kannanun chirutambu and ramanusa nutrandadi we don't recite any of these during these times now what do we do as part of tiruvaradanam we recite some pasurams like nayaganayan indra while opening the sannidhi at home we recite pallandu pallandu tirupallandu we recite tirupalli elchi all of these are recited generally so as we have seen in the beginning one option is to recite them in our heart if we cannot stop reciting them so during the particular times when we have to recite the pasurams we can recite it in our heart and remember alvar and embermon at that time in our heart this time also is to be dedicated to learn the many wonderful sri suktis works of our acharyas subsequent to alvars many acharyas have given us many wonderful prabandhams and stotrams both in tamil and in sanskritam for example alavandar has given us stotra ratnam chatushloki embermanar has given us gadya trayam kurutalvan has given us panchastavam parashara bhatar has given us shri rangarajastavam vedanta acharya has given us wonderful prabandhams manavad mamnigal has given us wonderful prabandhams such as upadesha ratinamalai tiruvai mul nutrandadi and all of these have to be learnt and recited by us and this time can be the best time to 
learn and recite them frequently. Also, Pillai Lokacharya himself has given us many wonderful Rahasya Granthams which can be learnt and practiced regularly during these times. Also, during our Tiruvaradhanam at home, we can recite the Suktams and any Pasurams such as Vennayalinda Kunungam which is recited as part of Tirumanjanam is not recited both at the temple and at homes during these times. So we can stop with the suktams and proceed with the next step. There is also one important point. Once Margadi month commences, once Dhanurmasam commences, even though it is Anadena Kalam, at homes and at temples, Tirupalli Aduchi and Tirupavai will be recited and can be recited. Also, we can learn, we can hear to lectures relating to Tirupavai and Tirupalli Aduchi during this Anadena column, even though it is Anadena. So, there is plenty for us to engage in, even during Anadena column. Let us all spend this Anadhyana Kalam fruitfully learning many of our Purvacharya Granthams and Prabandhams and practicing them as well. Let us also look forward to Adhyayana Utsavam and celebrate it with great joy. Alvar Embermana, GR Tirvadi Gade Sharanam, GR Tirvadi Gade Sharanam. Please download our Coil K O Y I L app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store to listen to or download Upanyasams like these. Our website portal is K O Y I L dot O R G Coil dot org.